Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to cover on the discussion of uh, the exercise that I've given to you in the first topic for chapter 3. So this video will be the first part. Okay, and we have six questions from A to F. So let's take a look. You need to find the first derivatives for the following functions. So depending on the question, then you might have to find dy dx or you might need to find f prime of x. Okay, so please take note about that. The first question you are given y is equal to 1 over x plus e to the power of x. So for this one, you can differentiate 1 over x normally like what you did in chapter 2. And our new focus is on e power of x. So here we are going to use the sum rule where you can just differentiate each term independently of the others. So that gives me dy dx is equal to differentiating 1 over x, you will get negative 1 over x squared. If you are still not familiar with this one, please do your revision. And then plus, differentiating e power of x, if you recall, the derivative will still be e power of x. And hence, that will be our answer. As for the second question, you are given f of x. So our first derivative will be f prime of x. And the function is e to the power of square root of x plus 3. Differentiating this, because this is exponential function, so you have to remember we are going to have two brackets, where the first one will be you just copy everything, e power of square root of x plus 3. And then for the second bracket, you are going to differentiate our power, which is square root of x plus 3 with respect to x. So the first bracket, we can just copy e power of square root of x plus 3. For the second bracket, I'm going to use the multiply symbol there. Differentiating square root of x plus 3 will give you 1 over 2 square root of x plus 3 and then multiply by the derivative of x plus 3 and if you differentiate this with respect to x, you are going to get 1. So everything else will just be the same in this step. The different one is this part where I differentiate that with respect to x and I will have 1. And then we can just rewrite our answer as e to the power of square root of x plus 3 over 2 times square root of x plus 3. And that will be our first derivative. Next, we are going to discuss on the third example or exercise. You are given y is equal to 4 power of x plus 3 power of x plus 2. So in this case, we are going to use again the sum rule. So we can just differentiate each term and that will give me dy dx is equal to, for the first term, because that is simple index function, so what we are going to have is three brackets. The first one I just copy and then I'm going to differentiate my power giving me 1 and then I'm going to have ln of my base which is 4. That is the derivative for 4 to the power of x. Now I'm going to add with the derivative of 3 power of x. That will be 3 power of x multiplied by 1 multiplied by ln 3. And differentiating 2 because this is a constant, it will give me 0. So we don't have to write it there. And sorry, we are going to simplify this. So your answer will be 4 power of x ln 4 plus 3 power of x ln 3. So just leave it at that. For question D, there are a few approach on how you can differentiate this. You are given y is equal to 3 power of x over 4 power of x. So one of the approach is by using the quotient rule. How do I know? Because you have the, <coughs> the two functions and we divide one of them by the other. So 3 power of x divided by 4 power of x. That is why I choose quotient rule. But if you ask me, I'm going to choose the second method in which this one will be easier because we can just use index rule. So what does index rule told you? 
it says that if you have a power of m over b power of m, we can also rewrite this as a over b, everything to the power of m. So that is what I'm going to do. You can do quotient rule by yourself. So here I can rewrite my y as 3 over 4, everything to the power of x. And from here, I now have simple index function. So if you recall, how do we differentiate simple index function? This will just give me dy dx is equal to 3 brackets, where the first bracket I will have 3 over 4, everything power of x. I just copy everything and then multiply by the derivative of x with respect to x and that will give me 1. And then for the third bracket, I will have ln of my base. In this case, my base is everything inside the bracket. So I will have here ln of 3 over 4. So I can just simplify my answer. You will have 3 over 4, everything power of x, multiplied by ln 3 over 4, and we can just leave it at that. Now let's take a look at question E. You are now given y is equal to 4 power of x multiplied by 3 power of x. And again, here you have two choices. The first one, since this is a product of two functions, you can use product rule. But if you ask me, I will personally prefer the second method where we can simplify first using the index rule. So index rule says that if I have a power of m multiplied by b power of m, I can rewrite this as a times b everything to the power of m. And hence, my question will be 4 times 3. That one will be multiply, not uh, decimal place. Okay, So 4 times 3, everything to the power of x. And hence, I will have 12 power of x. And from there, what can I do? I can just differentiate that immediately and directly because this is again a simple index function. So differentiating that will give me dy dx is actually equals to the first bracket will just copy everything so 12 power of x and then the second bracket is differentiating x my power with respect to x giving me 1 multiplied by ln of my base which is ln 12. So I can simplify my answer to be 12 power of x times ln 12 and we can just leave that as our final answer. As for the last question, you are given f of x is equal to 5 times e power of x squared minus x. So here you need to take note this is a, a function consisting of exponential term. So how do we differentiate this? You will get f prime of x is equal to two brackets. The first one we just copy everything. So 5e power of x squared minus x. And then for the second bracket, we will differentiate the power. So my power here is x squared minus x. That will give me 5e power of x squared minus x multiplied by 2x minus 1. So we are going to rearrange this and you will have 5 times 2x minus 1 times e power of x squared minus x. Thank you.